I'm in a good mood today because it looks like this mushroom nightmare is almost over. You can see all these blocks where I had to take a spatula and scrape the top of the thick matted mycelium off. They're producing pretty well. Now, I really wanted to try to do the one misting per day, just misting in the morning and then keeping the humidity up, but that just isn't going to work because by uh, the next morning, the vermiculite on top, even though I've got it decently wet, is still dry enough that if you tilt the block back and forth, it'll flow over itself very easily. That's, that's a good way to tell how wet or dry the vermiculite is, is how well it flows across itself um, if it doesn't clump at all. And when I put the vermiculite on these initially, I make sure it's wet enough that it's clumped up, but not so wet that it's super saturated and letting any uh, extra moisture drip down to the block. But on some of these, for instance, these two blocks, I harvested a, a couple larger mushrooms from, and then I put a small amount of casing mix back on it. You can see now where I'm getting tons of pins in the center and all around it. Looks like it's going to be a very good flush. And then other blocks where I didn't even put a, a casing on it. You can see uh, a big mass of pins popping out from the very center. And all of these got some action going all around the top of it. So that's good. But even better news is that these ones that I've just initially cased and again, I'm missing them twice a day. They're doing pretty good too. You can see this one, pins are coming out mostly on the side first, but that's all right. And then, uh, for instance, this one right here, I don't know if you can tell, but pins are coming up in the center, a bunch of tiny ones. And pretty much the same for everything. And you can tell too, there's still some pinning that's going on underneath the plastic. And then there's open space. Although, I'm not jamming the vermiculite into the sides of the bag like I was before. I actually think now that that probably creates more space because you can see where the bag is kind of flexed inward on itself. Well, that actually probably is a good thing if I pushed it out by trying to stuff vermiculite in there. It would just create an extra space down, down farther below. But So, I really just don't think you can avoid the pitting on the sides. Um, at all. It's just best to try to create the best situation for them to come out the top and that way they'll uh, make a lot more pinning momentum up on the surface than around the sides. And probably that dang peat moss was one of the main reasons too that it pinned around the sides just because they thought it had extra food to eat on top and so it never got the pinning triggers correctly on the top and so I just try to fruit off the sides as much as I could. So all these new blocks are still good and I still have a whole bunch of the blocks that I took the top off. I still won't add any more casing mix to any of these just because it has oh something of vermiculite still on top. I'll wait till I uh, pick whatever mushrooms are going to come off these and then I'll Put another thin layer of casing mix on, but again, you can see mushrooms breaking through the surface, breaking through the surface, so that's great. Now, putting this portable air conditioner down here again, I think was another major factor to my success, um, because it is the end of August, the dog days of summer, very humid, very hot, past couple weeks, and the air conditioner does help and actually bringing the humidity down. Um, it's been raining all day today actually and my hygrometer says that it's so high it can't even get a, a proper reading which means it's probably over 75% or rather over 95%. So don't want to keep it really wet down here. It, on days like this I missed about half as much as far as the volume going across. Of course, you know, I'm using the hose in this, so when I miss slightly, I just move faster across the blocks. 
So I'm very happy with the success of this. And hopefully this will end my headache that I've had with this for, God, I don't know, past three months. How many parts of this video series on now? But it's always a good learning experience. I have learned quite a bit from this fiasco. I sure hope you have too. So now let's wait and see some really good proper flushes off these vermiculite only case blocks. So great news. Everything is turning out fine. You can see they're all making about the same level of mushrooms. Just uh, averaging a bit better just because, you know, if you remember some of the peat moss blocks had uh, only like maybe like two mushrooms coming off it, a whole lot of side growth. But like I said before, looks like I got most of the side growth controlled because it's fruiting off the top instead of eating food on the top and it has no delay. Now here's my the first bag that really got done I'm gonna cut down. You can see it's over about probably about over a, definitely a pound and a half so that's a good harvest. Not a lot of side growth and what there is has already been ate up. So I'm really happy with that. I wish though I could make more smaller ones, but uh, maybe if I put a, a thinner amount of casing or if I was doing what I was doing before where I left a, a few balder spots on top, so I might try that too, but I'm definitely satisfied with that. And you can see over here, I kind of got these, they're about a, a second flush where I had some initial decent growth on it, but I just cut the mushroom off, restarted it, and so that's still pretty good. So not a lot of problems, and even the ones that I didn't think were going to do well, like I still have three over here that I need to work with, where you can see that how the mushrooms kind of look all split up on the sides. That's a different sign that uh, they're not going to grow anymore, or hardly are doing well at all. So it's best then to just take the entire inch off the block all the hard mycelium mat, and then recase it properly with three handfuls of the vermiculite. So I'm very happy with all this, and let me give you a rundown since this has been a, a long episode with many parts of my final conclusions, what I think you need to do, and my thoughts on all this casing business.